going forward to Dave Hopper, and we'll go ahead and go through the questions. What did what are your uh, general general thoughts on one job? I, I thought that um, I'm extremely proud. Um, we as a coaching staff, and I think that the players, I know that they are proud of the effort. Uh, it was a, a great team. Um, effort with the assist, obviously, and real hard-nosed defense. I thought that we were focused on every shot, and we knew that uh, we didn't want them to shoot the threes uh, effectively. And it, from the looks of it, seven for twenty-one. Uh, you know, we'll take that. Elliot, I've got. Can you just explain what was said to you during, I guess, with about eighteen minutes left, when it looked like Rachel had man one, and there was a foul called on Benajah or something? What? Uh, you know what? <laughs> they said that um, that she was intentional and flagrant when she threw her hands back on the rebound, which obviously I was discussing. It. And um, I've never seen her intentionally try to hurt anybody, so it was it was it was not what it should have been. But you know that you know how that is. Um, so that's what it was. So they took away the two points, gave them the two, and. Uh, but but what's most important, I think, is that um, the team decided that they're going to come up with an attitude and, and play that much tougher. And uh, it was it was it was great. We got the ball where we needed to and continued to play hard. So I was real proud of the way they played. Talia, how much of a difference did the week off, I guess, from the end of the conference tournament to the first WNIT game, probably more than a week, like ten days, make for you in terms of your health? Because it looks like you're out there, you know, exploding around again. Um, rest is always good, and uh, coach had us getting in the ice tub, and it was just refreshing. And the week off just helped my legs and get me back to moving. Do you feel like you have that explosive that maybe was missing a little bit? Yes. <laughs> what was there, what, what, uh, was there anything wrong with uh, with Tyler uh, tonight? Uh, you know, after she had that big game, uh, you know, the other night, and she no. was starting. And no, I mean, I'm sure that uh, the next time she has an opportunity uh, to play, period. Um, so it's not about the start, um, that she'll make the best of it. But um, no, you know, she, she, she's fine. She'll be, she'll be able to make a difference the next time we play. Talia, I know sometimes you say you, se you sense when the team needs a spark. I think right after you guys fell behind 32-31, you went on an 8-0 run, you scored six of those, or eight, maybe eight out of ten. Was that one of those times where you sensed it was on your shoulders? Um, I don't never feel like the game is on my shoulders because I always have four other people out there to get the job done. But um, I knew I could get to the rim and do whatever I had to do to get the rebound, put it back up, or do whatever to, to keep us on top. Nigel, what was um, defensively just the game plan in the second half? You guys were able to just force a lot of turnovers and help out. You know, whenever you guys seem to get in the shooting slumps, you know, step up defensively, and that helps you guys. Yeah, we know. Um, when we're not doing that well offensively, we definitely can't allow a team to come down and score on the other end. So just making sure that we know that they're a three-pointing team, so just making sure that they're not getting off as many threes as they would like, making sure that they're not dribble penetrating and kicking or shooting. Coach, an early thought on Keaton Hall? <laughs> I haven't had a chance to even think about it. They just told me who we're playing, you know, and we truly are taking it one game at a time. I mean, we're, we're going to the Sweet 16. And, um, and that's important. I, I think that with this young group, what we're trying to do is, if you will, this was simulating the exact progression that, you know, you play 64, you win the first game, you got 32. So now, you know, we, you know, got to the Sweet 16. And so in order to go on, so the best thing for us is that we remember how this feels. The, the pressure and the success and the, the, the competition is going to get tougher. And, uh, and so we're going to find out, and I'm sure that we will step up the way that we need to. Uh, and then, you know, on, Elite Eight and Final Four. So this is a great opportunity for us to take advantage of it. I thought that this team played um, as hard as, as I've seen us play uh, and as hard as was capable, and everybody was contributing. And that was good enough to have played at an at a, at a, at even higher level. So it was good. It, it, I don't have a clue about what's going on with Seton Hall, but I'm sure I will. Um, I know that they're a, an outstanding team. We had a very difficult time before because they generally run five guards. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do about that. We'll take tomorrow off and, and get a breather. 
uh, rest our legs. We've been working hard. And, um, and then hopefully we'll come back and we'll have our game plan right and we'll plan to go, go for it. I mean, now that they're coming up, I, I think we think more about it. Uh, it's definitely – we definitely want to come out and, you know, get the, get our revenge. But it's just – we're just looking at it as a game, and they're, they're our opponent for, for this tournament. Well, for now, do, do, do you feel that, that the team is really benefiting? You know, Coach was saying that, you know, she wanted to play in the tournament to, you know, get the team some experience. Do you kind of feel the team – yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, any experience is good. So I think it's it's good that we're we're still playing, even though it's not where we would like to play. It's it's always good to get as much experience as you can. Any other questions? I, I bet you I bet you I know what your headline is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I bet you I know what your headline is going to be. Well, what's that? What's that? Help yeah, us you, out, you, you know. Guys. Yeah, no, I'm not going to help you. you. You already know. I can write it on a piece of paper and, and put it in my purse. Rodgers team all rematch? Yeah, no, and something else. Uh, but you know what? Um, just know that uh, they're a team that we respect, obviously, and we know that they're a great team, and we're going to leave it at that. You know, we're playing for an opportunity to be an Elite Eight. But I can tell you what, what your headline is going to be. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Okay. Thanks, guys, for coming.